Welcome to the project demonstration of stress monitoring system. In this project, we are using a 16 by 2 LCD display and 3.7 volts battery, and also using a ESP32 module, and also using a USB module to charge the battery. At the same time, how to give the 5 volts power supply to this system, and also we are using a temperature sensor and heartbeat sensor. So we need to place this one to our hand like this. Now I have placed uh, to this uh, my hand so we can see. So now we need to on the power supply using this switch. So coming to the power supply we are giving 3.7 volts power supply to this USB module. So this USB module boost up the voltage. So it will take the 3.7 volts and it will boost up to 5 volts. That 5 volts will be given to this uh, ESP32. Now I am giving the power supply right now. So, so we can see here it is showing that welcome to the project and also we can see BPM and DF stress levels here. So DF means a degree Faraday and also we can see stress levels and then BPM and we can see BPM values here also here when we place our uh, finger to this one so we can see it shows the values. So this uh, whenever the DF is uh, more than 100% so it will send a message to our phone at the same time it will send a mail and also stress levels is uh, more than 30% so it will send a mail to our registered phone number. So first of all we need to set our hotspot settings for this one. So here we can see we need to set our hotspot name as a So we need to set our hotspot name as a Proid6783 and password should be 129. After that, uh, and also we can see AP band should be 2.4 GHz. Then only this ESP model will be connected to our phone. So one device is uh, connected to our phone. So here we can see ESP32 is connected here. So when we uh, share our internet to this device then only it will be send a alerts to the email. So now I am increasing the temperature right now using a soldering machine. So now I am increasing the temperature. So here we can see to showing that email is sending the email so coming to this email so here we can see there is a one alert call sorry so we need to reset the uh, so here we can see so here we can see it is showing that high uh, body temperature so you can see here so this is the previous uh, messages when we are testing and also if there is any high so here we can see stress levels if it is uh, more than 30 then it will give a message so we can see if we press the here we can see the stress levels will be increased So now here we can see it is send that high stress levels. So here we can see this is the high stress level and this is the previous message. So in this way it will send a message to our uh, uh, using a mail and also we can monitor the values in a blink app. For that one we need to go for the blink IoT. So here we can see Blink IoT. So when we uh, enter with the e email and password, it will show the interface like this. We need to go for this one. And also here we can see the values over here. This is the temperature and 
this is the stress level and this is the BPM values so here you can see a display and this one has the same and uh, we can see whenever the BPM uh, crosses the more than 100 then it will be send a message to uh, email to our phone so in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching and also one thing I forgot to say that so we can charge this uh, battery using this USB uh, USB cable right now so we will provide the this cable so using this adapter so we don't provide the adapter we just provide the cable only so now uh, we have to give the power supply to this one so we can see there will be a uh, red light indication which means this battery get charging so in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching